One of the nice features about a professionally published book is that the cover has a nice laminated coating on it. This provides both protection for the paper as well as a nice glossy sheen to the cover of your book. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve the exact same results in your DIY bookbinding projects using nothing more than an inexpensive laminating machine. So let's head to the work table. You'll just need a few basic tools for this project. The first thing is a hot laminating machine. This is a swing line heat laminator. Um, I bought this because of its key feature, which is that it has a 12 inch wide opening to feed the material in. And this allows me to work with paper as large as 11 by 17 or tabloid size here in the States. Um, and that gives me enough size that I can laminate a piece of paper and still have edges to trim down to get my finished book size. Um, so you'll usually be printing on larger paper and then trimming down to your final size, whether you're using it for a paperback book or whether you're using it to create the cover for a hardbound book that will be wrapped around book boards. The other thing you'll need is you're going to need a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife or something else, some laminating pouches. These are what are called menu size. They're 11 by 17, actually slightly larger than that, um, and they're commonly used by restaurants to laminate menus. And the last thing you'll need, of course, is your cover. And you'll need two of them because what we're going to do is put them back to back into the laminating uh, pouch and that way when we cut them apart the front sides, the tops, will be covered and the back sides will be uncovered with the laminate so that we can glue them and uh, use them to adhere to other materials. Uh, the first thing we need to do is warm up the laminator. It takes a moment for the heating element of this to warm up so let's turn that on. This lamination machine is very simple. Um, it just has a switch. You flip it to the back, the power comes on, and the rollers already start to roll. They just stay on the whole time. And we just need to wait for this ready button right here to light up green to tell us that the heating element has warmed up sufficiently to melt the uh, adhesive. So this is the pouch we'll be using. It is slightly larger than 11 by 17 in dimensions and it is three mils thick on each side. And that's basically the thinnest material you can get easily. Um, it's possible to get 5 mil as well, but I like to have the thinnest material possible so that my covers remain flexible, they don't uh, cloud the image underneath, um, but I still get good protection. And as you can see, it peels open, and then there's a hinge right here um, where the material is connected on both sides. So we'll take our covers, so here's our cover, and we'll take two covers, so we start with two, and we put them back to back, line them up. They don't have to be super precise because as you can see there's area on this cover to trim once it's finished. So we don't need to have it super precise but you want it close. And then just feed that right into our pouch and then cover it back. So the ready light has come on, that means the unit is heated up appropriately. It's already on and the rollers are going so all we need to do is feed our pouch into the laminator and then let it do its thing. You just want to try and feed it as straight as possible. And then once the rollers catch, you can let it go and it will feed automatically. So once we're done, we have the finished cover that's laminated on both sides and we have um, two sides, two covers facing out. So the last step is just to take a pair of scissors and just trim off, we basically just want to trim the ends off so that we can release the two pieces of paper. So now that everything's cut, we we'll separate our two covers. And as you can see, I have a nice glossy coat on the front and the back side is smooth. This particular cover will be wrapped around book boards, so I'll be gluing it and folding it and uh, if you look closely, you can see I've got some fold marks uh, printed on the trimmed off area. So that's all there is to creating your own laminated covers for your next DIY bookbinding project using nothing more than a simple inexpensive laminating machine. You can find links to all the products that I used in the description below. Just follow the link back to the website and I have everything listed there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend, leave a comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel and visit us online at DIYBookbinding.com. I'm Andrew Seltz.